Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, The Dark Descent. So the last time we left off there was a, uh, well there was this uh, cow thing here, so, oh I can't like that. Is there water in the cow room? I guess it's a bull, but. Who's dead? Hello? Um, the trader did not know what to think of the brass bull as he forced as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instruments which was the bull's head. Outside the men could hear the brazen bull below bellow. Not below. Duh. Oops, I didn't mean to hit his game. Okay. So apparently someone was cooked in this here bull. Hello. So yeah, that's kind of mean, and that's actually, well, all of these um, torture devices were real and actually used. <gasps> I assume that means I got all of the pieces of the orb, or did it do that for the other two? Ooh, a tin box. <coughs> So, um... Wait, we still have to find that, um, fungi stuff or whatever it is. Oops, keep hitting escape for some reason. Uh... Mementos! Make sure with three ingredients... I know one of the ingredients is in here, so... I must find it! But this stupid monster is gonna be playing with me the whole time. Probably. What's this? Oh. Well, let's break open it! I did it! I found the piece. I think. Was that what I'm supposed to find? Let me read. I don't know if I'll cut this out or not. Uh, notes. And this thing? Paralyzer, Vite, and Tamter. Poisonous fungi should work as a, or a paralyzer. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what I just got. So let's get out of here. And now I know that stupid monster's probably going to be bothering me again. So let's just... Like... Yeah, okay. I think we go this way. Not, not entirely sure. Don't you dare come out, monster! For I have pillars to hide behind. I know there's a bridge around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. I have the luxury of having the brightness turned up so I can see them. Okay, maybe that wasn't the bridge. I think this is the bridge over here. Yes. So I think we're nearing the end of the game as I've I think I've gotten all the pieces of the orb but I don't want to put them together yet because well, that might prove to be a bad idea where's the door there's the door let's just run for it who cares if there's a monster somewhere <laughs> yay we did it Okay, something died. Oh, I already read that one a long time ago. Sometime. I don't remember when, but I read it. So. So where are we now? Are we back in where those torture rooms are? Why is there so many doors? I hate it when there's so many doors. Alright, these are the torture rooms. Okay. Uh, torture room? Yeah. I think that's where we cut up that one guy. Or maybe. Yeah, it was. Okay. Nave. This is where I want to be. So I have to find the other stuff somewhere. I don't know where though. I think I can like read the note and find out though. You know. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. 
No, notes. This thing. Okay, Bate can be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. Maybe I can get it from him himself. I don't know. And Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion and the water drilling in that place. Um, I will have to address where with this, as he will have to just supply me with the host. So I have no idea where I'm going to get that, so... No! Why not? Okay. You've already been in that room. So I don't think there's any monsters in this part of the place. I hope not to be proven wrong. Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. Then there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, then. Please, find the ingredients and pass the tonic Vile described. And do so before you assemble the all. Okay. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Okay, so let's just read this. Because Agrippa, the dying man, wants a specific tonic made to save him. Well, yeah, that was obvious in the other things. So let's just go left now. Because. Oh, well, this looks, um, wonderful. Wouldn't be surprised to find a stupid monster in here. Oh, that's the, the thing. Hmm. The evil water monster of doom. Hello? Transept? Sure, why not? I assume since there's three ingredients and three ways to go, um, that's where I get the ingredients. Because that makes sense. So, wow, this. Um, ooh, <laughs> this doesn't look very good. Why is there a bunch of. Oh, okay. <laughs> How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me already! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Alrighty. Um. Well, it seems like there's these cages that they keep people in. And there are three doors in a spiral staircase that leads to. some place. Crystal clear. Oh, that's that's good to know that my sanity is crystal clear. Hello. Holy crap. Okay. They better not all be like that, because if they are, I am going to go to the other place first. There's something. There's like a door at the end of that hallway. Ah, I don't want to do this. It looks very scary. Why? Why? Let's just go up the staircase. See if we can find any um, clues as to what we're supposed to do before we venture into three very dark hallways. Hello, Alexander's painting. Hello? What's this? I got a string! Why did I get a string? Oh, another one of those things. I'll click on that later, don't worry. Notes on torture. Okay. 
there are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear. Simply by imagining it. Oh, <laughs> while applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient in if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses if in doses if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Is that what happened to me? And I'm assuming that's where we get the vitae by uh, torturing someone, so I'm definitely not looking forward to that. And there's a, a pipe. Okay. I'm assuming so Alexander can listen. Because he's... What's going on? Well, anyway. Is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me after an and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Uh, Napoleon got his ass beat by the Russians. Ha <laughs> ha, what a noob. Ooh, oil. Okay, what was this? Something I can pick up. Okay. So I'm assuming uh, there are places to torture people down those long and ominously dark hallways and I'm not looking forward to that and I have to take a drink of water because I just read a lot and stuff okay you're creepy Alexander so um, I think I'm just going to go down the uh, that hallway since it's the central one and I can actually see a door at the other end. But I have a fear of hallways, especially dark ones with a little light at the end. As nothing ever ha nothing ever good has come from going down one of these. Nothing. <laughs> Cradle is ready. Good. You you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he alright? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Okay, hopefully nothing um, scary happens within the next minute because that can easily cause me to call the set as I am at an opportune time to do so. So, let's just get this. Hallway seems a lot longer than it actually is. Good thing I have a decent amount of tinder boxes. Oh, there's another piece of the orb. Okay. No, no, please! I'll do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! I'm innocent! What was that? It sounded like they sat him on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> 